Hey guys, Ron and Will. Wandering Shell. Uh, this is going to be the wrap up episode of uh, Teal. Teal Mask. So we have three legendaries we have to catch. I still have one last uh, missing Pokemon to get. And we found out what it was. We know where it is and what it is, um, which is back up here. It's in here. I don't have any direct flight options, mm. so I think the best option to start will be going for the monkey. Monkey. The monkey. The monkey. Okay, so we're going to have to hunt down all three of our legendary guys. Um, Probably on our own. I mean, I don't know if you want to fight the same person first. I'm also going to make sure we have a save. Just in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Um, the monkey is psychic poison. So, Teal Mask, why don't you... Oh, is that him? Yeah. It is. Come teal here, mask. monkey. Oh, sorry, not Teal Mask. Monkey. Um, psychic poison. Okay. Or... I literally was on top of it, looked at me, and I'm like, oh, oh, I guess I'll click a button. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know. I might not actually use Teal Mask anyway. Oh. Let's swap in you. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll just wing it. Usually I like having at least some prep for this, but in this case, I am just going to do my best. You can do it. That was weird. I'm going to start with an Ursaluna out. For shits and giggles, why the hell not? I already tried it, but you... You go for it. Quick ball. Uh, I shouldn't kill it. That, oh my god. That was close. That was so fucking close. If We're that would have worked. Oh, I killed it. I guess you're resetting. How do I reset? You have to exit. Oh, a monkey door ran off somewhere. Yeah, that just means he's resetting. Oh, so... Like, like, he's not going to be able to be captured. Not yet? No, you can't capture him now. Wait, how do I reset? You have to go back out, go hit the home button. Oh, hit the home button. And then hit the X button and turn off the game. Okay. Alright, let's see. Good luck. Yeah, don't do crunch. Mm. <laughs> I learned that the hard. Don't do crunch. Dragon Claw. <laughs> no, no. Oh. Okay. Nasty Poot. Okay. <coughs> so if it's after turn one, then we're better off going with Dust. Ball until it's turn 10, then timer ball. Okay, so. It's turn 3. Nope. Not even close. I don't know. Oof. That hit hard. 4. Come on out. I'm just 
gonna kind of sit there and be a uh, punching bag for a little bit. Unfortunately. Six. Not even close. Yeah. Not even close. This? Ooh, psychic. His psychic hits are really freaking strong. Yeah. That's ridiculous. one HP left. I was like, okay, so now I'm going to grab the Pokeball and all of a sudden Sandstorm buff. <laughs> <sighs> well, I'm trying not to use. Damn it. Wait. Well, I needed him a little bit lower. Okay. I probably should try and lower him more, but I don't have anybody weak enough. Uh, to do it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think this is turn 10, so we'll do one more Dusk. If that doesn't work, then a Timer Ball. Hmm. Okay, Timer Ball it is. And Future Side Hits. Okay, not effective. Damn it. This is the problem. I can't even use Bunga Bunga's like weak attacks mm. because they're s too strong against him. Yeah. Just stay in the fucking ball. The actual legendaries were less of a pain in the ass than the than this guy. Right. Teal Mask. Or Ogre Pond, sorry. I keep calling it Teal Mask. Now you attack? Of course you do. Alright, let's try Low Kick. It's not very effective. Just it did it. nothing. Mm, you said it's not very effective. Yeah, but I was expecting at least some damage. <laughs> let's um, just slam. Just effective. Missed. Oh. Okay. So, Ogre Pawn is basically a joke here. The Steel Typing should prevent him from being... I got him! Good. The Steel Typing should prevent him from being poisoned. <sighs> and the um, Dark Typing should make him immune to psych psychic attacks. So, try to get him into red. Well, going to start with the obligatory quick ball. I mean, you never know. Okay. Cool. You tried. Yep, sludge wave. Doesn't affect King Gambit. Okay. I'm going to head back to town to heal my guys. That's fine. Metal Future Sight. So does Future Sight even do damage to him? Not yet. No, I know, but I'm wondering because King Gambit... Oh my god. I mean, fucking monkey dodged it. Okay. Metal claw. Okay, not a ton of damage. We don't want to do a whole lot. I'm yeah. going to see how much this does. Uh. Because he is only level 50. So King Versus Gambit... Versus 70. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. 
Yes. It doesn't, doesn't affect, affect him. him. Yeah, damn it. Okay. Don't battle. Just. Oh. It's okay. False swipe. This should be fine. He doesn't have any self damaging moves. Excellent. That's. That's very low. Yeah. That's a whatever you want. Okay, well, we're using an Ultra Ball because it's daytime. If it was night, I'd use a Dusk Ball. Right. Really? Yeah. Okay. If I, I kind of wish I had somebody who was able to fight him while he's asleep. Like, put him to sleep. Mm. You're, you're better off just... <laughs> well, now I just have to keep... Yeah, keep trying to get him. <sighs> Come on. You got nothing left, bud. And he can't do any damage to, to King Gambit. Why? King Gambit is immune to psychic type moves because he's a dark type. Um, and he's immune to poison type moves because he's a steel type. Ah, well that is handy. Mm -hmm. So it's literally a waiting game right now. Yeah, it's literally just trying to convince him to stay in the fucking ball. And he can't go any higher, so he's literally... Yeah. He's stuck. Come on. Stay in there. Oh my lord. Did he even wiggle? Three times. I I do love the idea that King Gambit is just sitting here waiting mm. for the like because it's a whole play on an He's a chess piece. He's a king. Mm. So he's sitting there waiting for the battle to end. Oh my lord. Why are you keep breaking? Oh shit. I just hit. Oh. You Please. did an attack, didn't you? Yes, but it's false swipe. It can't kill. False swipe can't kill. But you did make it even lower. I don't know how. It's I don't one know. HP is still one HP. Oh, come on, you, you stupid thing! Get in the ball. Ha ha. Okay. I, I don't know I what other. I think we're at the right time for timer balls. Okay. Come on. Not even a wiggle. Dude. Go in the ball. Oh my lord, I have never, all the other fucking legendaries were not this hard. Yeah, why all of a sudden this one? Oh, did he even wiggle? Yes. Come on. What is your problem, dude? Do you, like, like, why? Why is this fucking resistant? This is fucking stupid! Like, I don't have any other options on anything stronger. Seriously, dude. Get in the damn ball. You're at this point. Go in. Oh my freaking lord. You can't attack him. You're going to run out of PP. That's basically what's happening right now. He's going to run out, struggle, and one-shot himself. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to have to start this whole freaking battle over again. Why? Why won't you stay in the damn balls? Fastball, friendship ball, lower ball, heavy ball, love ball, moon ball. 
Dream Ball, Beast Ball. Just try a regular Ultra Ball. Like, what the fuck? I have not... I have no idea why this guy's so goddamn hard. I don't know. The freaking, uh... Three le uh, four legendaries of this generation were not even close to being this difficult. Yeah. Why all of this... Why this grouping? And this is only the first one. I might have to do something that I really didn't want to do. Mm. Because I got it... I got it from something that I didn't want. Mm. But at this rate, I might actually have to do it. What are you thinking? So, I was doing some wonder, or some mystery trades or random trades. Yeah. And I ended up getting a shiny um, starter Pokemon from a website. Oh. This website is like a known thing. It's trying to get you to go to their website to try and get more shiny Pokemon and stuff like that. It's, yeah. it's a virus type thing. Mm. But it came with a Master Ball equipped to the stupid Pokemon. Huh. I really, like, I wanted to just get it and forget it type deal. Right. But at this fucking rate, this is stupid. At this point, he's harder to catch than any of the fucking legendaries I've ever gone up against. And I don't even like this set. This trio looks terrible, to be honest. Oh, come on! Uh, the pheasant is the only one out of the three that I actually like. Really? Yeah. I hate the dog design. I hate this monkey. For more than one reason. <laughs> it's just me sitting there throwing fucking balls at it at this point. Right. And then it pops out. Huh. What you thinking? No, nothing about this one. I'm thinking about the, the dog. Yeah. Oh my lord. There was a... I'm thinking about the... Like, how this condition is... King Gambit is... Really not... Able to be hit by this monkey. Mm. So the dog is a fighting poison type. Right. So a ghost... Steel type would technically be the best option to fight it. Okay... Unfortunately, I don't think they released Ag Aggie Slash in this season. Because that would be my go-to one for him. Mm. Not to mention it's one of my favorite uh, Pokemon. Right. Oh my lord. Can you just stay in the damn ball? Come on. I'm literally just mashing buttons at this point, trying to wish that it would work. Mm. Come on. Oh my lord. What the fuck is wrong with this goddamn Pokemon? Like, this... I'm pissed. I am so fucking pissed. Finally! Fucking hell. Timer ball? Yeah. But I've been using the timer ball for a while now. Maybe it wasn't enough uh, for it. Your name is Garbage. Are you actually naming him Garbage? Garbage. Okay, you named him Garbage. I was gonna name him Monkey. I did. His, his name is Garbage. Monkey Garbage. Alright. Now. Which one next? 
let's see, the dog, where was the dog? The dog was up here. It's over by the fighting yeah. stamp. I guess that's the next option. Okay. Oh my lord. If every one of these is going to take that long, I'm... It's going to be longer than the freaking uh, wrap-up. Yeah. I for the wrap-up was a long time. Now we got to go... F where would he be? I don't know. I'm switching to Tinker Tongue first. Mm. And now, if I remember correctly, the dog... It was near a grassy was, area, right? Yeah, he's like back over here. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Unless I went the exact wrong direction, which I probably did. Mm. Yep, he's to the left. How do you know? See, these people, I still am trying to figure out what to do with these. Because it makes me think that they've got a story thing. Somewhere. And it might just be to feed all of them yeah. and get something cool. Maybe. Where'd they go? He should be over this way. Yeah, there he is. Wait. Surrounded by all the birds. Weird. So just look at where I am. Okay, hold on. Are you even connected to me still? I should. Are you sure? Because you closed your game. Oh, right. No, we're not connected. Okay. Right, go on your map for me. So I can pinpoint. So you know where you should have. Nope, maybe, don't have that. No. But I know where you are, so I can set a destination at least. Okay. Okay. I set a destination. Here so. we go. Next battle. Good luck. I swear, if this one just stays in the ball right away, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be happy, but I'm gonna be pissed. Like all at the same time. Alright, there he is. Okay. Start with the quick ball. Didn't expect that. Here we go, pup. So dark type move. Mm. Think your tongue runs the risk of killing it. Play rough. Ultra Balls. What? Who cared a monkey? Mm hmm. Wow. Just, just wow. Okie Doggy is a ruffian, a ruffian with a short temper. It can pulverize anything by swinging around the chain on its neck. That's a chain? It. Okay, sure. You're gonna give Okie Dokie a, a name? Yeah. Oh, sweet. It doesn't affect Tinker Time. I'm gonna call it. Toki. Toki. Toki Doki. Means sometimes. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <coughs> All right. That just leaves me with three more Pokemon. All right. 
Well, you're in the middle of fighting him? Yeah, I'm still okay. stuck with the dog. Okay, maybe while you're fighting him, I will make my way over. Um, I was going to say, you might as well go ahead, since we're not connected. I know, well, I was also thinking I might go and see if I could find the last oh. Pokemon that I'm missing. Oh, yeah, where would that be? So that's actually fairly close to here. Oh, good. That's why I was like, maybe I'll go do that while you're working on your dog. Got him in the red. That's good. Yeah, but now I really shouldn't do anything. <laughs> well, he can't affect Tinkerton. Yeah, I mean, that was my strategy. I threw Tinkerton in there and basically Tinkerton just... Got him. ...held off. Ooh, another dusk ball. That was useful. Mm. Ooh, speaking of which, I should probably heal Tinkerton. Uh... Hyper Potion, Hyper Potion, even though I don't really need two big Hyper Potions, I did it anyway. Okay. Also, it doesn't help that I cannot remember where exactly the pheasant was. Oh, um, go to your map, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, it, was, go it was like over, over this way, down, right? Down, 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 down. You see the no over to left 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 around here somewhere. It's up in this platform. Okay. It was like this platform, no, wasn't it? No, the other one, around here. Here. Yeah. Because I went up the hill, and you're like, no, it's over here. Well, the first time we ran into it, it was like over here, and then it ran away. Remember, and we had to go through the cave, oh. and it dropped us out someplace on the side of the mountain. And that was a long run. Anyway, I want to head this way first. Also, I feel like this was supposed to be something. But one of the six wonders, the gracious stones? Like, it just, it feels like there should be something there. Yeah, but I wonder what, though. No idea. There was one other Pokemon that I, I looked in the Pokedex. That's part of the reason why I was able to figure out what Pokemon I'm missing. Yeah. They mention a, a Manphy. And I'm yeah. like, how do you get a Manphy in this game? Because I haven't come across one. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen any. Neither have I. Okay, so this is where my last... Pokemon is. Oh, that? And it has to be... Blue Stripe? Yes. It has to be a Blue Stripe basketball. Uh, not a Blue Stripe. A Red? White Stripe. A White Stripe? Yes. Like that this. One? So, a quick bullet? Hopefully. Really don't need all my luck to turn bad today. Right. My captures... Excellent. Okay. Got it. Basculin. And now to make a Basque Legion, this is the annoying part. Mm. To evolve Basculin into Basculin Legion, it has to take 200 damage, 200 points of damage in recoil. Ooh, very specific. Mm hmm. Uh, right now, I'm not going to carry him with me since we're going for the last legendary. Yeah. But. You do have him now. Yep. Ooh, and it's getting night, so I can start using Dusk Balls again. Yeah. Problem is, I don't know where this boat is. I'm half tempted to go to the top and work my way back down the mountain. Mm. Kind of like how we did the first time. Well, if I could get to the area that we first met it, go through the cave, kind of do like a... Oh, what did I run into? I ran into a Litwick. No, that's, that's really not any type of concern. Damn it, there's spoinks everywhere. Spoink, spoink, spoink. 
Go away, Spark. I don't need you. So I found this cave while I was exploring, and this cave... Oh, it goes all the way down. All the way down. Yeah. I, I fell into it, the one... Yeah. There's also another one of the Oga tribe, tribe guys here. Yeah. So... And it's actually strong. I mean, they all... The Ogre tribe seems to all be strong. Yeah. Okay. So... Cool. This is also where I found my, uh... Phoebus when I fell into this hole for the first time. Oh, look. There's another Phoebus over there. Hmm. Speaking of which, did you ever get your, uh... Ursaluna numbers that mm, you needed? No. Seriously? <laughs> I just fled one battle and immediately fell into another battle. Mm, sounds about right. Can, can we please? Oh my god, there are so many of these fucking things. Yeah. You're going into I'm going just straight to the bottom of the cave here. You think that's the cave it's in? Well, I was going for the main cave itself, but I think I found a different cave. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I definitely am not in the cave that I thought I was in. Hmm. I guess... I have to go to... I have to go over here. I remember the cave entrance being on this side. Alright, let's go back up and try it again. No, it was around here. Alright, so first thing we do, we go back down the hill. I swear, if he's where we first met him instead of he's where we not. fought him... He's not there, because I'm right there looking for the cave mm -hmm. to enter through. And I don't see it. Well, it's over here. What, you found the cave? Yeah, I remember where it is. Yeah, I don't. We have to go down this ladder. Oh, down... Oh, I was so Two there. sets of ladders. Oh, it's just over there, too. And then it should be t on the right wall over here. Here it is. Ooh, it does. Up here. Down a two. Now. And then jump. Oh, there's the cave. And then this should be the cave that we chased him down. Which means the pheasant. Yep, there he is. You found him? Yep. Nice. Okay. Last save. Pheasant, you're mine. Can you just play nice and uh, get in the ball? Yeah. If if you want to just like you know stay in the quick ball, that would make my life so much easier. Right. Ball. Of course not. Hey, at least try it. Oof. Don't play rough. Even not very effective moves are <laughs> pretty damn dangerous on it. Mm hmm. But, I mean, it's a bird, so t they tend to be fragile, I've noticed. Not oh. all of them, but some of them. Yeah. Okay, ooh, Oonga Boonga landed a crit on that, and that's why I'm so effective. Oh. I was gonna say, like, oof. Own tempo. Ha! You can't confuse me! I like how it roosted, but its HP is already full. Like, Wait, ah. it has roost? Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't know it had roost. At least this one has roost. I know it has beat up flatter. 
Roost, that means I know we know three of its four moves. But Oh, I thought you got that. That would have been amazing. I was like, but never mind. <coughs> <coughs> Aha, uh -huh, thank you for raising its attack. And there goes its roost. Alright, Oonga Boonga, time to smack a bitch. <laughs> In fact, uh, brutal swing. Let's see how that works. That Not that brutal. Shit. Okay. So, fairy type moves are more effective than dark type moves on it. Don't do rock type moves. No, I wouldn't. Thank you for flattering. Flattering. Special attack rose. However, it you can't, can't confuse me. So thank you for that. Okay, I'm going to try one more play rough. But it avoided. Okay, come on. Swagger. Okay. Swagger is its last move then. And then it rests. It, it rests. Damn it. My biggest issue is I cannot use Gigaton Hammer. I know. You want to, but you can't. So bad. Okay, can you stop raising my special attack? Because... <laughs> it's like, actually going to make it worse for me. Okay. There. Okay, you're in red. Ugh, I forgot. Roost. I know. I'm That's running cool. out of my fairy move. Oh. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna. All you're doing is making Tinkerton stronger. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> stop making it so strong. Alright, swagger again. At this point, Tinkerton is just literally the most overpowered Pokemon. If it wasn't for the fact that I am hesitant to use any Gigaton. other move, I would literally have had it use um, Gigaton Hammer just to see how much damage it could deal in one strike. Yeah. Oh, and roosted. Damn it. Alright, I only have one play rough left. Oh, shit, this time. Oh. And it, yeah, because it was swaggering so much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I might have to swap out after a certain amount of time over to King Gambit. Okay, good. It has beat up. Yeah, that's his only real offensive attack. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Quick call. Let's see. Stop flattering me. <laughs> Not even close. Swagger. Liter okay. Are you trying to get me to one shot you? Because that literally is what is about <laughs> to happen. You have literally just raised Tinkerton's freaking attack to one shot range. Okay. Now you have raised Tinkerton's attack to look at you funny and you die. You do realize that Tinkerton's favorite Pokemon to hunt down are basically birds. Are birds, right? Metal birds. And you are a soft squishy bird. Stop swaggering. I can't go any higher. Please go with the ball. I know, I'm just sitting here. Come on. That didn't even deal damage. I think Tinkerton tripped and hurt itself worse than you uh, dealing damage to it right now. Oh my lord. At one point it did like three roost in a row. 
Also, my uh, freaking attack, my base attack can't go any higher. Oh yeah, I had that earlier. Yeah. So now, unless it starts doing flatter, yeah, I literally cannot raise my stats anymore. Yes! Ah, oh, show off. Holy cow. I want timer bolt. I didn't realize I had one. <laughs> nope. Pheasantipity beats its glo glossy wings. Beats its glossy wings to scatter pheromones that captivate people and Pokemon. I want a name for you, but I have no idea what a good name for you is. So right now, we're not going to name you. Cool. That is all three of them. Nice. Look at you. I'm still trying to get the stupid pheasant. <laughs> hey, my worst enemy was the stupid dog. Not the monkey? Uh, the monkey, I mean. The dog wasn't bad. Don't attack, don't All right. attack. I'm going to switch you in. Basque Legion. Or Basque Legion, I mean, sorry. Mm. Going to be a Basque Legion. Hopefully. Okay. Double Edge and Water Crush. Okay. Stop Watch your health out. flattering me! I'm going to run out of Ultra Balls by this. Hmm. I ended up having to use a dusk ball. Uh, Did it run out of roost? It may have. I need something to raise the Pokemon's help. Uh, boost energy. Speed. Let's go in the ball. Oh, that ain't even... <sighs> Go in the ball. Please. It's not even wiggling. Oh, that's interesting. What? So these mochis do different effects. Yeah. And you only can get them by playing the game. The, hmm. the mini game. Interesting. It's helpful if you want certain things yeah. up. Okay, here we go. We'll give you three of those to raise your. That did nothing to your health. Holy crap! You can kind of put all sixteen for him. I think I might. Okay, so what I need to do is find some weaklings for best. <coughs> Basically, what I have to do is I have to hit a Pokemon and then run away. And then hit a Pokemon and then run away. And heal in between. Uh, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, tell me about it. Wave Crash. Let's see how much this actually does. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was good. Okay. It did. It brought him from. Uh, 197 to 141. Okay, and then let me get a quick heal. Fresh water. So that's 30. Oh, in the ball! So about 50 points of damage for one strike. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I need 200. I mean, I think... Go in the ball! Okay. Go in the ball! Again, that's my whole issue when I was fighting freaking monkey. Well, you had monkey, now I have pheasant. So let's say that's 50. Oh, come on. It's 
probably just a little under 50 per strike. A pump. Nothing else, it's definitely easy to rack up those hits. Alright. Uh. I got attacked by an Alert Pump. Alright. Cool. Okay. This is gonna be a little risky. Okay, so he's in the 90s right now. So that's definitely over 100 points of damage. I was going to say, give him a heal. Okay. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to take out another one or two monkeys. Hi, hey, there are the monkeys. I basically used it five times. And it's done 50 damage per attack. Oh, that is not the Pokemon I wanted to attack. Bird. Fuck. Big bird. Okay, thank God. I wanted the A-pump. Okay. You're still struggling? Yes. Alright, well, since we're just about done with all this side stuff here, um, what do you, th what did you think about the first part of the DLC? Hold on. I just want to tell you real fast. Mm -hmm. Pheasant doesn't have any more moves left. It's and going to it knock did. itself out. Yep. Oh. Well, that happened. Um, but, no, so what did you think about the DLC, it the first half, anyway? Since I mean, we don't have the second half yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was okay. I feel like there should have been more festival stuff, I guess. Yeah, I feel like the festival was a little short, but everything else was okay. Oh, I passed my record. That should... Yes. Cool, he's evolving. Or she. I don't remember if I have a male or a female basketball. It's, it's um, a whatever fish. Yeah. Well, it's different forms depending on male or female. Mm. I got the female version. Cool. Uh, so that's the entire Pokédex, I think. Hopefully. At least as far as I'm aware, that's the entire Pokédex in this region. Yeah, because yep. you got the... You've encountered all the Pokémon in the region and completed the Pokédex. Congratulations on all your hard work coming to fruition. And now we get our last thing, which is kind of not that great. It's just another Moon Ball. Exploring new places on your own, two feet is a real treasure. Uh, you know, I think you deserve a special diploma in regards to this magnificent achievement. Come find me in the tall grass on R Revealer's Road when you have the time. Okay. Who knows, maybe uh, he'll also give us something else special. Yeah. Because I know in the... Um, the other side of it? In the other DLC, uh, in... In the one for um, Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield, yeah. each DLC, obviously they had their own Pokédex, as well as the main game's Pokédex, and each one gave you something special mm. for it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, I kind of feel like they were, they built up the festival as aspect yeah. more than they ended up doing. Um. I don't know. I thought it was fun. I like that it ties into the second one. 
Yeah. Where, again, Sword and Shields were two completely different stories, and they didn't really reference each other that much. Mm -hmm. So, I kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, crap. What's up? Okay. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. I did a super strong move, but it should be fine. All right, so let's talk with this dude. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, my friends. Looks like you've caught 200 kinds of Pokemon that can be found around the land of Kitakami. Wait, are you telling me you've caught them all? Wow, wow! A complete Kitakami Pokedex? This is great. No, you're great. Aww. Thanks to all your hard work, I don't think there's anything more to be done when it comes to surveying the Pokemon that live here in Kitakami. I really wish I had something to give you to commemorate all your effort. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I know. I'll give you this charm I uh, got at Kitakami Hall. It's a limited edition souvenir they only sell there. Glimmering charm. Put the charm on your key items. Having one of these mysterious glimmering charms increases the number of Terra shards you receive from Terra Raid Bells. Okay, that's enough. Finally! I caught it! Good. Sorry, Knight. Oh, and you can show me your Rotom phone for a sec. Thanks to the diploma feature, D Director Clavel helped. We can uh, celebrate your achievement in style. Ooh. See, you can get a special message from the company that certifies Pokédex completion. Dun dun dun! Aww. That's kind of a cute one. Yeah. Uh, diploma. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Kitakami Dex. May this great feat be celebrated by all, Game Freak. Aww. You may have completed the Pokédex, but that doesn't mean your school trip has to end. I hope you'll keep meeting lots and lots of new Pokémon friends around Kitakami. Yeah, about that. <laughs> I mean, I could get another version of what's her face of uh, Mask Legion, but that's about all I really need to do. Um, yeah, I think. Well, I mean, until the next DLC comes out, I think that's about all we've got you left can, here. I was gonna say you you did everything. Um, I mean, I can go beat up some, uh... The ogre... Some groups. of the ogre clan guys, and, like, do some collecting of stuff like that, but... Yeah. Other than that, and to be honest, that's not really anything interesting I'm for you guys to watch. Um, so, I guess this is it. Yeah. So, till the next DLC in November, I think is the next one. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. The the last one is uh well it's Teal Mask and the Indigo Disc. Which ah. is the next one. So part one was Teal Mask. Yeah, and part two is the Indigo, Indigo Disc. Disc. Um I I'm, I'm pretty sure they said that it's gonna be November or December. Okay. So we might be a little late to that party, um, just because if it comes out in November, we may be away. Right. Uh, so we'll be having to play catch up when we do. But yeah, yeah. Well, we can. That was it. it. It's. I thought it was a fun little DLC. Yeah. Um. I'm glad it. It's one of those things like doing a recording of it. I'm glad that it's not a super long DLC because it'll just take forever. I feel yeah. like that's honestly that's the main game was like that. Yeah, considering we're in the middle of still finishing up Tears of the Kingdom. With, like, at least, what, five episodes that haven't been posted? Maybe ten? Mm. By the time this final episode airs? Um, 
But yeah, everything was kind of... I enjoyed it. I do wish they had a little bit more um, new Pokemon. Mm. Like, I like the six we got, with the exception of the freaking uh, legendary doll, the legendary three. Yeah, the those loyal guys, three or something. Yeah, those guys. Uh, I don't know. I you know really, I never really liked their design. You know what they remind me of? Remember mm. um, X Y Z the Z. Mm-hmm. That's what it reminds me of. Oh, Zygarde? Yeah. Yeah, I could see them being very Zygarde-themed. Um, it just felt... I felt kind of like they needed something more. Yeah. Some other, maybe, unique forms, or even pull a Hisuian Pokemon. I mean, they only did the Growlithe. They did Growlithe. They did um, Bastion Legion. Yeah. But, like, you could do a lot more legend, you know, a lot more of the Hisuian stuff. Right? I think that would have been kind of fun to have all this Hisuian Pokemon. Hmm. So. Alright, but other than that, guys, I think we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had fun, and we look forward to the next one with you guys. Till then, we're on a well. Wandering show. Later. Bye.